today I'm going to be traveling. I am so excited for my next two weeks and I'm going to be missing this too so much. Right here. I'm here in Puerto Rico and I'm going to be staying at the Dreamcatcher. Here. Yeah. Okay. The protection. Okay. The protection of the day. Uh, 
Um, so we don't have all the flavors available when we open. Um, because it takes, we, we make them fresh every day, so it takes about 24 hours to make. So everything is made fresh. Um, we don't reuse our dough. So everything is made, made fresh every day. That one is uh, being a vegan coconut. You're the tour guy? Hey man. Where are we going today? We're going to the rainforest and a couple different cool spots. Yeah. Uh, pretty much uh, to give you an idea how it looked like, if you were out in the street, mm -hmm. uh, it would be completely gray. The sky would be like uh, just full of very strong winds and rain. And you'd get gallons and gallons and gallons of water of rainfall every minute. So it would be very dangerous conditions to be in. Uh, when Maria struck us, which is like the first category four to five hurricane to hit us in 15 or 17 years, we got directly hit by the eye of the hurricane. The eye of the hurricane has the strongest winds around the wall. We're talking about more than 180 mile per hour uh, winds. Uh, so basically uh, the day after the hurricane, when you look around right now, you see green trees everywhere. Right. Well, at the day after the hurricane, there wasn't a leaf Anyway. Oh, it's been 10 months and just starting to see green all around you is something very important for the whole, like, there's a saying, it's uh, Puerto Rico se levanta, which is uh, Puerto Rico stands back up. And people keep repeating that because it feels like we're all very resilient and we're doing much Puerto better Rico now. Puerto Rico se levanta. Puerto Rico se levanta. Puerto Rico se levanta. Yeah.
la mejor pinacolada. Muchas gracias.